Meet Jack. Jack was your average Joe. He loved sports, watching them anyway. He liked to go for walks, outside for a smoke, and his favorite food, a triple meatball sandwich. He used to joke that it was a heart attack waiting to happen. <laughs> Funny Jack, until the day it did happen. Jack was rushed to your typical hospital, the Silo Medical Center, where he was treated by first-rate providers. A cardiologist visited, a technician took a test, a nurse checked in, a surgeon was called in, another test, another nurse. A pulmonologist was needed, Jack's hooked up to a respirator. The surgeon returned, then the cardiologist, another nurse, another test. There was a lot of activity, but not a lot of communicating. That's because at Silo Medical Center, everybody worked in, well, silos. This led to complications that slowed Jack's recovery and to confusion among his family about what was going on with him. Jack ended up staying in the hospital longer, ringing up a massive medical bill, until the happy day finally arrived when Jack got well enough to go home to his family. Yay! Unfortunately, nobody from Silo followed up with Jack once he left the hospital. They didn't know Jack wasn't very good at sticking to his doctor's orders. And he wasn't very good at resisting the piece de resistance. So Jack proved his first heart attack was no fluke. Okay, so what's the moral of the story? Stay away from 2,000 calorie sandwiches loaded with sodium and fat? Sure, but there's a bigger lesson here. Let's put on our thinking caps and imagine a very different delivery model from Silo Medical Center. If we were to come up with an ideal way to provide care, what would that look like? Well, upon arrival, Jack would be immediately treated with the latest scientifically proven methods to stabilize his condition. His primary care provider would be notified, so he knows what's up with Jack, and is ready to coordinate his treatment with a team of specialists. There would be no silos, so the team reviews Jack's condition together and collaborates about what's best for him. Then they regularly check up on his progress. The team includes technicians and nursing staff too, so everybody providing care for Jack is on the same page. This coordination of care makes it easy for Jack's primary care provider to clearly communicate his condition to his family, giving them a well-deserved sense of relief. There are no complications and Jack gets better faster. And to make his stay even shorter, his primary care provider recommends home care so he can recover in the comfort of his own home and the comfort of a smaller medical bill. That's not all. Jack would be provided with his very own health coach that makes sure Jack takes his meds. He also coaches Jack to help him lead a healthy life of activity, no smoking, and veggie meatball sandwiches. Uh, wait a sec. Come to think of it, in this new care delivery model, the health coach would have been teaching Jack about eating right, quitting smoking, and being active from the beginning. So Jack possibly would never have had that heart attack in the first place. Double yay. Meet the new Jack. He's your above average Joe. Thanks to his health team that coordinates care around the needs of the patient.